Hi friends, this is Rishabh Kapoor from websoftutorials.com. In this tutorial, guys, I will show you how you can include CSS file in HTML document in three ways. So, guys, firstly, you write a tag, HTML tag. Here. Yeah. This is paragraph tag, you know that. So, this is para paragraph one. So, firstly, I will tell you about inline CSS. It's inside P tag and we hit a space button and style equal to and we enter the property color and its value. I'm giving it a red color and a semicolon. If I'll run it in browser, now you can see its color is red. And uh, if I want to change its font size, so I will enter after semicolon font hyphen size equal to 30 pixels and uh, if I refresh it now you can see its font size about font size and uh, other CSS product properties I will teach you later but now I'm giving you just introduction that how you can include CSS file in HTML document so this was the first way using inline CSS the same way we can do this with heading tags also but I recommend you not to use inline CSS. It will make your HTML code less readable and complex. So, and in the second way is I'll remove this using internal CSS file. As I told you in previous tutorial, it's inside head tag it is used. It's style type equal to text CSS. Sorry, text forward slash and CSS, and I will close this tag and style. I will write my CSS code in this uh, in between these tag tags. So I am going to change the color of P tag. So I will write P and two curly brackets. And uh, firstly, I will type the property color. I will set it to red and a semicolon. If I will run it in browser. Now you can see its color is red. In the same way, after semicolon, we enter font size equal to 30 pixels. If I refresh it, now the font size is 30 pixels. We can also write in after semicolon in next line. So the third way is to include external CSS file. So I will remove this. Firstly, I will we will create a new file and save it. I will give it name of style. Dot. You have to give dot CSS extension in order to save it as a CSS file. So I will save it. Now we will enter the link of that file inside attack using link href means hyperlink reference. And the location of the file, it's in the same folder, so I will type as style.css and then its relation, its style sheet, so I will type style sheet, its relation, and its type. It's a CSS file, so it's text forward slash CSS, and I will close it. Now, CSS file is included in our HTML document. So, if I'll write and uh, change the color of P tag in the same way, P tag to curly braces and property and its value red. If I open it in browser, now you can see oh, it's not working. Mm, let me check. I have something wrong here. Link href style sheet type text CSS mm, style dot CSS style sheet type text CSS so it should work now. I don't know why but it's not color red. Oh, oh we are have opened the wrong file we have to open the HTML file so now you can see its color is red we were opening the CSS file so that's why it was returning an error in the next line we will type its background color equal to I will enter green 
so if I refresh it now you can see its background color is red and uh, foreground color is red so its background color is green and foreground color is red so enough for this tutorial guys let's see in the next tutorial